Shalom. First off, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And the sincere Shalom to the elect in the four corners of the earth. Um, today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into a topic about uh, Yahweh Shai or who people call Jesus being in the Old Testament. Because a lot of people don't believe that he, ac he actually existed before the, before the New Testament. Because he was prophesied to come in the Old Testament. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump straight into it. You know, um, This is the book of Micah, chapter 5, verse 2. I'm going to start at 1. Now gather, thee, now gather thyself in troops, O daughter of troops. He hath laid seeds against us. They shall smite the, ed, the judge of Israel with a rod upon the cheek. But thou, Bethlehem, Ephratah, Though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to rule to that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old from everlasting. And you know who that is. Yahweh. You know, the one who people call Jesus. So here it is in Micah, the, the book of Micah, chapter five, two and three, explaining to you who's coming, who's prophesied to come. So that's evidence right there. Now we're going to get some more too. Because where was he born at? What city was he born in? Bethlehem. Everybody know that. You know? Now. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, Book of Matthew. One more time. It's a lot. Okay, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 1. Now, when Yahweh was born in Bethlehem, see, that's called, that's going right with Matt, the book of Micah, 5 and 2 and 3. Now, when Yahweh was born in Bethlehem of, Ju of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. So, you know, even other people knew that he, he, Yahweh Shai was prophesied to come. So, you know, who was these guys, you know, claiming that he would never be born or, you know, that he never existed or, you know, this, this shuts them down, man. Let me keep going. All right. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 7 and 14. The book of Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore, Yahweh himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. But that's based, that's talking about Yahweh Shai, okay? In virgin, the, the word there for virgin, it's a Hebrew word. I forget the word, but it, it means young woman of marriageable age. There's another word, there's another word for virgin that means a woman that has never had sex before. But the word there, it the word there for virgin there is a young woman of marriageable age. That did not mean she did not have sex, you know, but that's a whole nother topic, man. But anyway, going on. Let me read this again. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore, Yahweh himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know that to refuse evil and choose the good. Yeah, because he didn't sin when he was on earth. He, he was perfect. He showed us how to do and what to do and how to do it, man, while he was here. He, he led the example, so to speak. You know? And let's go to Matthew chapter 1 and 22. As a precept. Right. 
and it started at 20. But while, this is the book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 20. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of Yahweh appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to, to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Holy Ghost, and he shall and she salak, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall he shall save his people from their sins. So that's what Yahweh Shai means, you know. Savior, he savior, sins, he save he save his people from their sins, which is us, you know, the elect rather. Verse twenty two. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of of Yahweh by by the prophet saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted as God with us. So, you know, there's there's more evidence. You want more for the sake of argument, we're gonna keep going. You know. Alright, let's let's go to uh Genesis 49 and 10. Genesis chapter 49, verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Who is Shiloh? That's another cold name for Yahweh Shai, or who people ignorantly, ignorantly calls Jesus. So you have Emmanuel, Shiloh, and Yahweh Shai. That's his original name, Yahweh Shai. That's his, that is his name. That's what you call him. That's what you end your prayers with in the name of. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, you know. All right. So let's uh, get a precept for that. Let me look at my notes. Luke chapter 3, 33. I'm going to say that number a lot. Okay. All right. Luke chapter 3, 33. Luke chapter 3, verse 33. Which was the son of Abinadad, Abinadad, which was the son of Aram, which was the son of es Esram, which was the son of Ephras, which was the son of Judah. See? So that's letting you know, man. Okay, it's another one, too. There's another one. I think it's Hebrews 7 and 14. I think that's the one I was thinking in my head anyway. Proving that Yahweh Shai or who people call Jesus came from the tribe of Judah. All right. Yeah, this is the one I was thinking of in my head. See, that's the spirit. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse uh, 14. For it is evident that our Lord, talking about Yahweh Shai, sprang out of Judah, of which the tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. You know what I'm saying? So there, there's the evidence that he came from Judah. We just went through the evidence that he was born in Bethlehem in Old and New Testament. Okay, you know we just we just proved that he would be born to a woman of marriageable age. You know. Uh. Okay. Let's go to Jeremiah thirty-one and fifteen. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 15. Thus saith Yahweh, a voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rahel, weeping for her children, refused to be comf comf comforted for her children because they were not. Thus saith the Lord, refrain thy voice from weeping and thine eyes from tears, but thy work shall be rewarded, saith the Lord, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy. And there is hope in thine end saith the Lord, that thy children shall come again to their own border. You know? And that weeping, that was that was from Herod killing all the, killing all the uh, firstborns, looking for Yahweh Shai. So that's why uh, Joseph and Miriam had to flee with Yahweh Shai to Egypt for a while. Until Herod died, I believe. You know?
Okay. Now let's go to the precept, which is Matthew chapter 2 and 16. Matthew chapter 2, verse 16. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth, and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, and in all the coasts thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, In Ramah, was there a voice heard lamentation and weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children and would not be confronted, comforted because they are not. And when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appearing in dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and go into the land of Israel, for they are dead which sought the young child's life. So, you know, proving the point. Old and New Testament, you know? All right. Now, let's see. Isaiah 43. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 3. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert desert a highway for our, our power. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough place plain. All right. Let's go to Luke. Speaking about the speaking about your Howard shot. All right. Let's go to Luke. Luke three verse three to six. Luke chapter 3, verse 3 through 6. Okay. And he came into all the country of Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the rem remission of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah, the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low. And the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough way shall be made smooth. All right. So this is John. This was John. So John was prophesied in the Old Testament to, to, to pave the way for Yahweh when he came, basically. In the ministry, you know. All right. Now, let's go to Psalm 69. Psalms chapter 69, verse 8. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, an alien unto my mother's children. For the zeal of thine house have eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproach thee are fallen upon me. When I weep and chasten my soul with fasting, that was to my re reproach. I made sackcloth also my garment, and I became a proverb to them. They that sit in the gate speak against me, and 
and I was the song of the drunkards. All right. Now, let's get the precept to that. John 1 and 11. Yeah, because Yahweh Shai was rejected and despised, man, by his own people, by our, by our own people. That's why two-thirds of our people is getting shot and killed down in the streets. That's why you see a lot of our people dying, because they don't have no protection over them, but their elect will be protected, man. That's a whole nother topic, too. Okay, John 1 and 1. Yeah, King, yeah, King David knew about Yahweh Shai coming before he came, knew, knew the prophecy, man. All right. The book of St. John, chapter 1, verse 11. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Yahweh, Salakia. That's his name, Yahweh. Even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the, nor of the will of, of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of Yahweh. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we held and we held his glory, the glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So that goes, so St. John 1 and 11 goes right with the book of Psalms, chapter 69. Chapter 69. What, what's, what verse was that? It's a lot. 69 and 8, Salaki. All right. Now let's go to Isaiah 53. All right. Plop right down on it. Isaiah 53 and 3. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Ain't that what happened to you, Okay. Okay. Let's get a precept. And so that and, 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 and it goes to us too. If we following him, we're gonna go through the same shit. So just be prepared for that, you know. We're gonna go through it too. We ain't no different. Alright. What was I going to? John 7. Okay. Hold up. St. John 7 and 7 and Seven and five. The book of the book of Saint John, chapter seven, verse five. All right. For neither did his brethren believe in him. Then Yahweh said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is all always ready. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it, that the works thereof are evil. Go ye up unto this feast. I go not up yet unto this feast, for my time is not yet full come. So you know, that's a precept. Letting you know, man. Yahweh was prophesied to come. This is the book of Isaiah prophesying what the book of John t testifies to, man. This guy, this this brother did exist, and he still does exist, and he's coming back. All right. If you don't believe, that's on you, man. Only only the elect, only the elect will believe anyway, and nothing will turn the belief of the elect away. You know. Because the elect won't be deceived. All right. Let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter 41. All right. I think we're getting into the meat here, I believe. So now, let's go to the book of Psalms. What is it, 49? 41, okay. Psalms 41 and 9, all right? Ye mine own, f okay, the book of Psalms, chapter 41, verse 9. Yeah, mine own familiar friend in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, have lifted up his heel against me. But thou, O Yahweh, be merciful unto me, and raise me up, that I may acquit them. By this I know that thou favorest me, because my enemy doeth not triumph over me. All right.
And then let's go to Matthew 10 and 4. Matthew chapter 10, verse 4. Simon the, Simon the Canaanite and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him, these twelve Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of, gen of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritan, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that's what the elders and, and apostles do. You know, you know, make videos, edify the people. That's our job, man. That's what we're supposed to do. So, yeah, you can see, as you can see, Yahweh Shai was, was prophesied to be betrayed by his, by his, by his friend, fellow, fellow disciple, Judas Iscariot, you know. That's in the book of Psalms 41 and 9, I believe. All right. Yeah, so King David knew. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's go to... Uh, Let's go to Zechariah 11 and 12. Zechariah chapter 11 verse 12 and I said unto them if he if he think good give me my price and if not fair be so they waged for my price 30 pieces of silver and Yahweh said unto me cast it unto the uh, to the potter a goodly price that I was prized at out of them and I took the 30 pieces of silver and cast them to the potter in the house of Yahweh then I cut asunder mine own staff even bands that I might break break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. <laughs> Who does that sound like? Judas, right? All right, let's go to uh let's go to Matthew twenty six and fifteen to back that up. All right, the book of Matthew chapter twenty six verse fifteen. And said unto them, What will ye give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they con covered they com they covenanted it covenanted with him for thirty pieces of silver. And from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. <laughs> so there you have it, man. Prophesy in the old tech old testament that 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 Judas will betray Yahweh Shai, man. What more do you want? And if you still can't see it, that means you wasn't meant to. <laughs> you know? Threw the money on the floor and everything. Okay, let's go to... Uh, let's go to Isaiah 53 and 12. Book of Isaiah chapter fifty three verse twelve. Therefore will I, therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death. Speaking about Jehovah Shai, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he and he bare the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. You know, and that's what he did when he was on the cross, man. Who was he? Who was he in between? Two transgressors, man. One believed, one didn't. You know. Now let's go to uh, let's get a precept on that. Matthew twenty-seven and thirty-eight.
It's a lot. Matthew chapter 27, verse 38. Then were there two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand and another on the left left of him, one on the right hand and another on the left. Salaki. And they that passed by revealed him wages, wa waging their heads, and saying, Thou that destroyeth the temple and buildest it in three days, save thyself, if thou be the son of Yahweh, come down from the cross. Likewise also the chief priests mocking him, with the scribes and elders said, He said he saved others, himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. He trusted in Yahweh, let him deliver him now, if he will have him, for he said, I am the son of power, son of Yahweh. The thieves also which were crucified with him cast the same in his teeth. So, yeah, man, that's prophecy, man, in the Old Testament, man, that this will happen, and it happened. It was prophesied in the Old Testament, and it was recorded as it was happening in the New Testament, man. So, if you don't believe, I mean, that's on you, man, but only the elect going to believe anyway, you know. So, with that, i like to say, call all your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone, sincere shalom to the elect in the four corners of the earth. Uh, shalom.